Hi there, in this video we will extend our national income equilibrium analysis to a certain case where we will consider that tax is induced as well as autonomous. So let's start with this example. We consider that there is autonomous tax which is represented by small t and there is induced tax which is represented by the product of tax rate and the level of national income. So Keynesian model as we already know the expenditure approach that is consumption, autonomous investment and autonomous level of government expenditure. Here we usually write Y but we are subtracting the tax because in this case we are considering the possibility of tax. Now further we know that the tax is having two components the autonomous part and the induced part. So uh, putting these values here and now bringing this t here let us see and before we go there these are the similar kind of uh, explanations that we have seen in the last lecture that th there are some endogenous variables those which are being determined from within the model as you can see we can determine y we can determine c we can determine capital t and these are the exogenous variables that are determined from outside the model. Now we come to the second and the third equations. They are behavioral equations and they are showing the behavior of the consumption and the tax variables with respect to income. So you can see that consumption gets determined by income and tax as well and tax is determined by the level of income. So these are two of the behavioral equations. Definitely we remember that this is a definitional equation. Now we come to the uh, simplification. This is the first definitional equation that we are given. We are going to put the values that we have. We have the value of consumption. Here we have substituted the value. And then further T is explained. So a T has this value, tax function. So we have substituted this value as well. Now we can see that only endogenous variable is y and we can figure out its value with ease because this is simple algebra. You can see that all of the y containing terms are put on the left hand side then taking y as a common factor while arranging the terms on the right hand side keeping the autonomous variables together and the parameters together. Now this term will be shifted to the other side in the denominator and the numerator will remain the same. Now this becomes the national income level at equilibrium. We would also be interested in this new variable that is the variable of taxes. We would like to know its equilibrium level. We can also find the equilibrium level of consumption by putting the value of equi at equilibrium of y and t. But primarily we are trying to find the value of t so that we get able to use it for consumption when needed. So here the tax equation is written and simply we are going to put the value of y asterisk in it. This is the value of y asterisk that we found in the last step and here we are with the value and then we can uh, do the simplification process. LCM is taken and then we can solve it. This is the solution and finally we get the level of tax at equilibrium. Finally, consumption is the third and the last endogenous variable. We also want to find it out for its equilibrium value. Uh, it's equal to this. Uh, we can use this consumption function as well, this one. But we have a shortcut and we can do it from here because we have the value of uh, y status and i0 will remain as it is, so will g0. So we can invert this equation for c and we can find the value of c easily. So this will be an easier way of doing this instead of evaluating c by substituting in this equation we are going to use this equation and invert it because here there would have been further LCMs and two substitutions like y status and t status. So this seems like an easier way uh, here we are, uh, C status is brought to the other side and Y0, uh, Y status minus I0 minus G0. 
rearranging that first definitional equation, the expenditure approach, we will get the value of C status. This is the value of Y that we have already used in tax equation as well as it was found in this equation. So putting this value and then we can take further LCM here. Here we can see LCM is taken and then we can uh, do the process of simplification. Uh, there are a few terms that we expect to be cancelled. So here we are, we are cancelling out a few terms and the remaining term is uh, like this. And furthermore, we can see that B is common in quite a bit of these terms, while A minus BD is kept outside because when I look at the other equations I can see the similarity that A minus BD was there. So as compared to Y status we can uh, bring a kind of similarity and that is by keeping it separate and taking B common out of these terms. When I do it appears here and the remaining is this and then further I can take G not common from these two terms and I not common from these two terms. So I not common comes outside, 1 minus T is there, G not comes out as a common factor, this plus remains as it is, 1 minus T comes here. This is an anticipation that 1 minus T will appear twice. We can write it once while writing the sum of I not and G not, just like we do when we take a common factor. Here 1 minus T is the common factor and then 1 minus b into 1 minus t is the same denominator. So in this way we have found the equilibrium level of consumption and before it we found the equilibrium level of tax and before that we found the equilibrium level of national income. So this was a comprehensive analysis of the national income equilibrium with induced and autonomous taxes. Thank you.